Increasingly in clinic, patients and families ask me questions about the gut-brain connection. They want to know about the microbiome. They ask me questions about probiotics, and if they change their gut, will it have their brain? If you would like to know answers to these questions, stay tuned, because I'm going to start answering them for you right now. Howdy. Learn about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. I use easy to understand language so that I can bring you approachable and accurate multiple sclerosis education. So if you're impacted by MS and you want to up your game, make sure to subscribe to the channel right now. And please make sure to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. Did you know that for every one human cell in our body, there are nine bacteria? Quite literally, we are more bacteria than human. I know it's kind of crazy. And then you consider the fact that the vast majority of those bacteria live in our gut. The term microbiome references the microbes and the bacteria that live inside of us. And we think that they impact human health. In fact, we believe that evolutionarily, we have evolved to symbiotically live with these bacteria and microbes in our gut. Recently, there's evidence that in autoimmune conditions, including multiple sclerosis, there is a dysbiosis, which is a fancy word for a weird population of gut bacteria that live in us. In other words, it appears that people with MS might have an altered microbiome. And so questions have been raised about the so-called gut-brain connection. The idea here is that the microbiome seems to influence our immune system. And our immune system seems to influence the microbiome. And so it raises lots of intriguing questions about whether or not we might be able to alter multiple sclerosis by altering gut bacteria. Now, this is an ongoing area of research, and in the world of MS, it's considered a hot topic. When I review the medical literature, I do believe that there's increasing amounts of research and evidence supporting this idea that the gut does impact the immune system and the immune system impacts the gut, and that people with MS have an altered gut flora or an altered microbiome or dysbiosis. Now, immediately our thoughts turn to potential therapeutic interventions. What I mean by this is, what if we could alter the gut microbiome and that might help our MS? And there's a lot of research going on in this area. We don't yet have an answer. We don't know what kind of gut flora are really good and we don't exactly know which kind of gut flora are naughty and bad, and we're not exactly sure about how to change them just yet. Probiotics are live bacterial colonies, and we believe that probiotics, if ingested, might be able to change the gut flora, maybe for the better. Currently, you can purchase lots of different brands of probiotics at almost any health food or grocery store. And lots of patients ask me, should I take probiotics? Whereas the research in the microbiome and the gut-brain connection is exciting and ongoing, we don't know yet the right kind of probiotics or even if probiotics would alter MS for the better. And so I cannot tell you that you should run out and take probiotics so that you can improve your MS. I think it's way too early in the stages of research to recommend things like that. Now that doesn't mean that probiotics aren't useful. And I'll remind you that many people I take care of with MS suffer from problems with gut. They either have symptoms similar to IBS, or they have severe constipation, or they have lots of bloating, and, and other various problems. And I'll share with you that anecdotally, it does appear that taking probiotics might help with this. And so I don't think taking probiotics is a bad idea, particularly if you find that after doing it, it improves your gut and your GI system but I don't want you to take probiotics thinking that it's gonna markedly improve your MS. And so what do you guys think? The question of the day is, do you use probiotics? And if you do, what benefits have you noticed? Thank you for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Until my next video, take care.